Well, at least Olivia's not as bad as that crazy bitch. <sighs> she went out again. batteries for you, Tinny. Huh. Took a trip to the shop, huh? Uh. Mm.
les étrangers, nous donnons un coup de pied. Vous pensez être choix si nous pensons que... aja Dragon Kick Look at Randy Orton Watch out watch out watch out Yes Randy Orton baby Yes Ini game memang ngasih ya Cherry Pengen gua tendang aja nih anak Bangsa. Oh, ngebom gua nih. Bahaya nih yang ini. Oh. Dia meledak sama bom sendiri oh. kan. Blood hand. Oh yeah, baby. Skip it up. Kalau kuat udah main game ini normal-normal aja. Mantap. Lagi Hmm ini dia Oh yeah baby Hmm Reviewed on PS2, 10 October 2006. God Hand Review. Clover Studios delivers its oddest game yet, but unfortunately, the joke's on us. By Chris Roper. Clover Studio has a knack for creating unique off-the-wall games, many of which have ties to 2D art and gameplay. Beautiful Joe was largely a side-scroller set in a 3D world with a cartoony art style and time-altering mechanics. The equally excellent Okami utilizes painting techniques not only for its visuals but core gameplay mechanics as well. And now we're presented with God Hand, the studio's latest release and also its oddest so far, largely mimicking the brawlers from the old days of gaming in a kooky 3D world. It's somewhat apparent that God Hand was meant to be a joke on many levels, much as a film director might intentionally make a B-movie. The game practically encourages button mashing, enemies are extremely generic, and the level layout is very uninspired. The dialogue and jokes are poorly written and delivered, and most of all, much of the control and gameplay mechanics are so old school it hurts. While Clover took a huge risk in hoping this sort of off-kilter design would appeal to some gamers, and there will probably be a few folks out there who will dig this extremely niche design, by and large, the joke simply falls flat. Dead flat. Put it this way, had this game not been designed by Clover Studio, released by Capcom and hyped brackets to some degree, because of this, it would be quickly passed over and shunned by most who play it. 
One of the only interesting aspects of the game is its combat system, largely in part due to the fact that you're able to customize exactly which moves you want in your combo string. While you only have one main combo chain, you're able to fit in other moves that you've assigned to the face buttons and create attack chains on the fly. Some moves have special attributes, like juggling an opponent, tossing them away, or breaking a block. This customizable aspect and the fact that you'll earn and buy new moves as the game progresses means that you'll constantly be switching up your attack style and incorporating new moves. But that's about as far as the fun of combat goes. Beyond this, it's an extremely tedious brawler where you'll generally mash a button or two until an enemy is dead. There are a few tactics of sorts mixed in, like choosing the best time to use a slower but more powerful move, but in large part, you'll be mashing buttons until everyone is finished. It's kind of funny the first time you're able to stomp on someone's head with your leg moving at Mach 3, but this gets old quickly. The God Hand aspect of the game refers to Gene's arm, which you can unleash when powered up and generally kick the hell out of everything for a short while. This really is little more than a power-up attack that you'll find in most any other combat-heavy game around and doesn't save the game in the least since all it does is strengthen your attacks for a handful of seconds. The roulette wheel is somewhat similar on a couple levels, in that these moves allow you to perform some sort of devastating kick, but they're one-off moves that, while looking cool, don't really add a whole lot of fun to the combat system. All of these are simply eye candy, and the game's reliance on these mechanics simply doesn't hold up. One of the major problems with the combat, and God Hand on the whole in fact, is that the camera is stuck directly behind your character, and you're unable to freely control it. Where you walk is exactly where it points. So the enemies will often come up, brackets, or even appear behind you, and this can be extremely annoying in a crowded room. On many occasions, we finished off a handful of enemies, only to have new foes appear directly behind us and take us out. The right analog stick acts as a dodge button, so since you don't have any block of any sort, you'll be using this often. But because of the poor camera, you'll often perform backflips into nearby walls. There's an extremely curious health system at work as well. To regain life, you need to pick up fruits from inside boxes or more commonly left behind by downed enemies. This part is fine, though your health doesn't refill between levels. This means that if you are near death at the end of the last stage, your only hope is to kill a few guys at the beginning of the next stage and hope they drop some grub. Generally, the best course of action here is to simply let yourself be killed and choose to continue with a full life bar. It really doesn't make any sense that your health isn't refilled since you're very likely to die a minute later anyway and then restart with no penalty. And of course, you have to wait through a load screen when you continue. Enemy Design is extremely generic, with demons and such that reek of early 90s arcade brawlers. While some of them have varying combat skills, like being able to quickly hop up when thrown to the ground or an affinity for dodging, you generally just run at them, punch away until they're about to attack, and then flip away in cowardice, rinse and repeat. The most annoying aspect about this is that you'll often have to fight demon spirits that arise from fallen enemies. They take a while to kill and simply act as roadblocks to slow down your progression. After fighting them for the third time, you'll become bored, and by the 50th, you'll be throwing your controller across the room. The Verdict The bottom line is that God Hand quickly becomes a boring, annoying, and frustrating game. Why should you be forced to try and complete a level with no starting health when you have no hope for survival and will just need to reload a minute later? What fun is fighting the same annoying demon creatures over and over again when the fight was so old the second time you tried it? Why, oh why did Clover Studio put so much money into such a risky joke? And why did no one see that the joke didn't have a real punchline at any point in the development? Here's a better joke for free. What's green and has wheels? Grass. I lied about the wheels. Rating 3.0. Awful. Presentation 5. The intentionally poor story and dialogue is so bad it sort of works, sort of. Graphics 6. The character models and animations are reasonably nice, but the environments are extremely bland, both in geometrical and texture detail. Sound 7. Terrible voice acting, but the music is pretty great, making it one of the only redeeming things about the game. Gameplay 2.5. The combat system is okay, brackets at best, but player control, the camera, level design, enemy design, and basically everything else flat out sucks. Lasting Appeal 5. The game is surprisingly lengthy for such a basic game, though it gets incredibly boring and frustrating, so you likely won't play it for too long.
3 out of 10. It's okay. 3 out of 10. It's okay. Final score, 3 out of 10. It's okay. Final score, 3 out of 10. It's okay. It's okay. 3 out of 10. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay.